We're at Trends Color and Design, a beauty salon in Florham Park, New Jersey. Talisha has a nail appointment. Hi, I'm Kristen. Here for a manicure? Yes. But when she takes her coat off, Kristen sees a problem. Look at her. I'm not letting her touch me. It's so ugly. If you were at a beauty salon and heard this... I heard it's contagious. What would you do? Joining me today is internationally known supermodel Winnie Harlow, who's witnessed the same reaction firsthand. She made her modeling debut as a contestant on America's Next Top Model, using her birth name, Chantel. I wanted to be a model, and I didn't really know if I could because of my skin. Winnie, like Talisha, has the same non-contagious skin condition called vitiligo. Chantel, how are you? What a pleasure. Thank you for Thank coming. You. I'm here because this is something that I've dealt with yeah. my entire life. So Kristen is the actress, and this woman has no idea. This is Kristen. She's going to take care of you today. Hi, I'm Kristen. How are you? I'm good. Good. Would you like a manicure? Yes. Okay. This woman clearly notices, but she stays quiet. I'm just going to be honest. I don't, I don't know how I feel about helping you. Do you mean my arms? I mean, it's, it's vitiligo. It's fine. You know, it's not contagious or anything like that. Okay, just hold on one second. I'm just going to double check, triple check that no one else can help you. Um, but before Kristen returns, Karen Ryer speaks up. You know, she's new here. I don't think she's going to keep her job if that's how she knows people. I love that they're talking right now. Yeah. I love it. I've never seen that before, and it's just really weird looking. I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. Um, no, you're not saying what everyone else is thinking. You're allowed your own thoughts. But that's certainly not what I would be thinking. And I don't think it's a very professional way to handle it. I mean, would you do her nails? Probably. Look at her. I don't see anything really wrong with her. Okay. You know what, if I were you, I would just walk out of here. She has no right to question you like that. I'm really sorry. Before she walks out, we decide to step in. Hi, ma'am. You okay? Yes. <laughs> Talisha is just shedding light on an issue that's troubling to a lot of folks who have vitiligo. What did you think of what you heard? It wasn't nice or kind or understanding. Um, and I can understand her ignorance, but I don't think she handled it well at all. You were upset. Yes. And that wasn't right. Yes. Going into the nail salon, I get the looks up and down. We're at it again. And now Kristen tries a different hands-off approach. OK, I'm going to put these on. Shirley looks irritated, though. Yeah. Because I don't want to catch that. <laughs> You don't need to use the gloves, you know. I'm not contagious. I mean, I have, I have kids, and I don't want you to, to oh get out. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Stop. It's a condition. Right. 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 It's a rare condition. It's all it is. But her skin is so soft and beautiful. Unlike our manicurist, she doesn't have a problem touching Talisha's skin. So why don't you come sit over here with us? And immediately you touched her hand. I did. What were you trying to tell her? That it's OK. That we're all human beings, and some of us are born with conditions that are beyond our control. As we reset the scene, a male customer walks in. John Petrozino sits silently as Christian spews her ignorance about vitiligo. Is your father black and your mother's white? Is that how it works? No, it's, it's more complex than that. Is it albino? Is that what it is? <sighs> no, I'm not an albino. He's so upset, he suddenly gets up to find the salon's owner. Your girl doing nails? She, she's new. She just started now. She's not. Uh, get rid of her. He wants to get her fired. Get rid of her. Straight. Get rid of her. Does everyone wear the gloves? I'm starting to feel itchy. Oh, I think it's going through the gloves. It's a pigment thing. It's not yeah. anything that's probable or contagious. It's just a pigment disorder. It's like a birth okay. It's nothing to be concerned with. <laughs> Chantel has watched the scenes unfold long enough. She wants to experience this scenario firsthand. Mike, earpiece, action. Um, just a regular manicure? Um, extensions maybe? 
Okay. Whatever. Okay, so there's no one else who can help you right now, and I just don't feel comfortable with touching you. It's a skin condition. It's called vitiligo. It's not contagious. <laughs> oh, I have to like wash my hands now. The salon is in stunned silence. It just right. you're making everyone feel right, uncomfortable. No, no, it's okay. Thank you. Thanks. You understand, don't you? I think it's a skin condition. I don't think there's anything she can really do about it. I don't know that I'd walk around and showcase it. But, you know, it's a bit discriminatory. We sent Chantel back in one last time. There sure is, and that model is sitting right next to her. I'm feeling like a uh, blue today. I hope you don't mind. I brought these gloves. Um, why? If you're worried about my skin, it's not contagious. I just can't take any chances touching you. Robin Salmeri's reaction says it all. Frankly, I don't know anyone who would want to do your nails. It's gross looking, and I don't know who would feel comfortable even doing that. I would do her nails. If I was trained, <laughs> I'm not trained to do nails. I don't mean to be rude. There's nothing gross about it at all. For Robin, it's too much. She decides to look for help. You know, you need to find this poor client, another nail girl. If you want to leave, I think somebody else is going to be available to do nails. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Uh, be careful with your hands. <laughs> Are you relieved? I don't believe this. No, I don't believe this. <laughs> so honestly, I really, really, really do appreciate it. I appreciate you standing up for me because the little me who actually did get bullied that way. Oh, I'm sure you did. She really appreciates it. Why is it important to speak up? I hate when anybody belittle somebody for their looks and try to make people feel good. Everybody feels lousy more times than not. Just spend your time trying to make others feel good. And don't judge. Don't judge another person. Did you recognize her as a model? You the, you're the model. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, Robin. <laughs>